On September 18th, satellites observed that Arctic sea ice had reached its annual low. This year's sea ice minimum is effectively tied for the second lowest on record. And while sea ice grows and shrinks with the seasons, 2019 continues the downward trend of the extent. The trends that we've been seeing with the sea ice minimum have just been a decrease. So in the 70s, since the modern record began tracking to today, there's, there's variation from year to year, but it's really just a, a downward trend. Satellite observations show that Arctic sea ice is not only shrinking in extent, it is also becoming younger and thinner. That means less and less ice survives the annual melt. The, the Arctic has actually warmed a lot more than the, the globe as a whole. There's a, something called Arctic amplification, which means that the, the temperatures in the Arctic have warmed about two to three times the global average. A major cause of this warming is due to the loss of reflectivity, or albedo, of the sea ice. Snow-covered sea ice has a high albedo. This keeps the sun's energy from being absorbed by a dark ocean. But when sea ice begins to melt, it loses some of that reflectivity. And without the sea ice cover, the ocean will absorb most of the sun's energy. This creates a feedback loop that leads to more melting and warming in the Arctic. We care about sea ice for a variety of reasons. One being because it does have an impact on things like our weather and our climate. Because of the albedo effect, if you decrease the amount of Arctic sea ice, you start warming up the Arctic. And when you start warming up the Arctic, you can start changing the circulation of the, the jet stream, which brings weather to uh, us here in the mid-latitudes. The other, other reasons why we care about uh, sea ice, Arctic sea ice in particular, is because we've seen such big changes due to warming, melting ice, it's a, it's a good visual to show that yes, the climate is changing and it's because of warming. NASA continues to monitor these changes to the Arctic so that we may get a better understanding of what we can expect in the future.